The Danube shoulders her way through a world constantly transformed, unchanging in the midst of change. The hard shift from communism back to capitalism in Eastern Europe made many fortunes and created many victims. The iron ore, which arrives by ship in Danube ports, is transformed into steel, then back into ships to transport softer goods up and down river. Copper is more flexible, softer to the touch. In this episode, I'm traveling upstream through Bulgaria and Romania, where the Danube dresses in her best clothes to prepare for the mountains ahead and communities carve out their own happiness. The city of Rousse is named after the red hair of her founders. Stainless steel birds fish like cormorants on her shore. Rousse glitters like a wristwatch on the arm of the Danube. The first bank, the first brewery and the first railway in Bulgaria were all built here. It's a city with wide open spaces, with one eye on the glorious past and the other on a fantastic future. The question is always just how to get there. What your black card says? It actually states that I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna immigrate. Um, you're the ones who are leaving. Uh -huh. And when I say you, it's the politicians. A lot of uh, projects have been happening in Bulgaria thanks to the European Union um, throughout the years, and. Um, it, 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 I'm just um, sick of how, how, what a big percentage of the money that comes into the country is being stolen. Rusev was famous, is famous, mm -hmm. as a very European city. You know? We do have a lot of tourists that come with ships, um, mostly from Germany or Austria or any part of Europe. I believe you're English. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually curious to know what brought you here and... I'm traveling up the river. Mm -hmm. um, I'm making a film, a series of films about the River Danube looking for the lost heart of Europe. Oh, that's very and nice. that's why I thought I'd ask you about Europe and mm -hmm. what Europe means to you. Thanks to the European Union, I went to Sweden and I lived there for five years. I studied for free. Um, and after that, I was working and I was paying for other people's education. So it's a tax-based system. Um, but thanks to the European Union, I got to go there. Uh, and there's no borders nowadays. And um, I have friends from every corner of Europe. We all speak English to each other. Um, so yeah. That's what Europe, that's what being European means to me. Don't lose heart, we say in English. What a strange phrase. The heart is always in place, even when you can't feel it beating. I'm worried that Britain leaving Europe will wound this union of peoples. The lost heart is what will heal the disputes between them and make the long journey worthwhile. And the Danube is my chosen guide. It's good to get back to the water again after a long journey. Actually quite warm, but a long way still to go upriver. The Romans valued Rousse for its winter harbour because the waters never froze. It boasts the biggest port on the Danube in Bulgaria. Many of the great shipbuilding yards from communist times have closed. But the great river fleets, old ships and new, need constant repairs. Hi. The soloist 
2 is a giant beast of a boat with a 980 horsepower engine, nearly as old as I am. Georgi and his men have just finished refitting her. I've been invited for a quick spin on the river. Das ist so wie ein Auto, man muss immer ein lieber auf der rechten Seite gehen, oder nicht? Ja. Ja, immer auf der rechten Seite und die anderen kommen auf der. Das ist nichts Auto. Auto gibt Bremse, gibt keine Bremse. Ja, aber aber man steuert ja. Can I try driving? Darf ich probieren? Danke. Schauen Sie hier. Ja. Das ist unsere Auto, unsere Autoreise. Ja. Diese rote Linie. It's amazing to think that uh, you can steer such a massive ship, 100 meters long, with just a very small lever. I think I'd feel safer if there was a big wheel here. Every means of transport seems, well, tiny after that barge. Long-distance travellers like me once left Rousse exclusively by ship. My red modern bus is very comfortable, but a little less romantic. The road takes me parallel to the river, westwards. Only fear of the pandemic weighs heavy in an otherwise light-hearted summer. My name's Nick. Who are you? Boyan. Boyan. Hi, Boyan. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. That's your mum and dad? Yeah. Have a seat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Good. Where do you live in Bulgaria? Yeah. In Russe. In Russe. All right. Do you already know what you want to do when you grow up? No. I read some books about the world. You write read books about the world or you write books? Write books about you, the world. About the world? Yeah. Wow. At nine and a half. Mm. Mm. Ooh, I didn't start writing till I was 16, I think. <laughs> so you've made a good start. Yeah. So you've written a book already? Uh, two. Two books. Wow. Are you interested in history? Very. Very? Mm -hmm. yeah. What are you most interested in in history? Which period of history? Mm, the time of the Romans. The Romans? Mm -hmm. Constantine the Great. Constantine the Great. He built the Christian in, in Rome. Yeah, that's right. He converted the Romans to Christianity. So you like Roman history, other kind, other periods of history? Um, anything about communism? Yes. What do you know about communism? They did ba very bad things to people who did nothing. Uh -huh. Right. And they sent um, people who, who did nothing to concentrate camps. Really? Wow. Uh -huh. So even for 12 years. 12 years. Hmm. I need to go. You need to go now. Yeah. All right. Well, it was very nice to meet you. Yeah, you, yeah, you should go back to your parents. Bye, boy. Bye. There's a tendency in Eastern Europe to sweep the communist past under the carpet. But Boyan and I both resist that. I'm here to find out what really happened in the camps. Tako and Sviatko have agreed to come back to show me round the prison island where they spent the most terrifying years of their lives. There's still a prison here, so security is tight, keeping the virus out and the prisoners in. In the 1950s, this island functioned as a concentration camp. 15,000 men and women were imprisoned here, 11,000 of them without ever being put on trial. The mosquitoes ate them by day and the bedbugs by night. What was this building for? What kind of food did they give you? 
ми беме с пресет. Един голем казал с два боба вътре и с моторетка там. И както той казва, с поп вътре в боб няма да гонят след това. Един черпак. И това и ние, като получаваме колети, взимаме повечето мас, за да може да сложим в чорбата малко мас да бъде по-тлъстичка. Така, so many people died here. How did you survive this? Ние бяхме 18-19 годишни. И го живяхме много така революционно. Вярваме, че и това накрепише най-много. Мас, захар и мас и захар. What were those ideas? What were what did you believe in? Те вярваме в идеите в демокрацията. Те бяха много демократични и много справедливи. В справедливостта на тези идеи вярваме. И сега продължаваме да вярваме в тях, въпреки на тази възраст. Против нас са както Комунистическа партия и Комунизма. Тя беше единствената опозиционна организация на Комунизма. Единствената. Без да седи Никола Петков. И фърля всички сили, мило и драго, само и само да не унащожат. Тук сме правили дигата, ето тук. Всеки ден един кубик, за да вземеш 500 грама хлеб. Иначе нема. Едно ли бе на три, ако искаш работи. Как се римува? Но това беше там за наказание, не за това, че правим строителство. Разбираш ли? Защото ние го доде на воднението и го отмие. Това беше с наказателна цяло. Призънърс трябва да бъдат дайкс, за да бъдат 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 бъдат. Those who died of hunger or overwork were buried in shallow graves. The corpses, which the wild boar didn't eat, were washed away by the Danube floods. The concentration camp closed officially in 1959, but political prisoners were still sent here till the late 1980s. Did anyone ever escape from here, Sviatko? По моята информация, имаме некъде към трима човека да се избегали. Иначе всичко е хвашено. При опити не може да мине, защото тук, как да му обясна, тук има два реда тел ограда и средата вода, три метра вода. Канал това целото обикове. Така че много трудно. После имаше кучета, щом те усети, остават те на кучета да те разкъсат. How do you feel now, standing up here in this place where the guards used to stand? Отлично! Отлично, като победител! Защото те изчезнаха, ние останахме. Това е богатството на фантазията. Друго няма. Това е върха на техната злоба, на техната омраза. Това е. Това им е края. И все пак ние сме живи, за да опишем историята, какво те са вършили. А не да ползваме лозунга «Надежда всяка оставете». The former prison camp has been returned to the wilderness, but the survivors insist it also host a monument to the hell they suffered. The old 
old regime also threatened this people with assimilation. The Kaldarash gypsies were always the blacksmiths of their people. Their pride in their copper craft kept their culture alive. Three generations of women tend the fire. <laughs> You don't have much time to do this. We've got to paint the tin around the inside as quickly as we can while it's still very hot. Whoa. Okay. It's finished? Yes. Gotov ye? Gotov. Gotov. Da. In your family, this always takes place here underneath the walnut tree. Da. Zime lete tuka sme. The autumn. Od tuka je ishranata na semesvoto. Ne mi... Za da go naprava po hubovo, da bude kakto treba. Клиента като дойде да го вземе от мене, да стане доволен. И след това той казва на приятелите си, на роднини, че бил при мен, е доволен и те идват. Просто клиентела имам. You must be very proud to make something so beautiful. Гордеем се. Дори учим по-малките деца. Например, момиченцето до мене, където е тук. Учим го да търка казаните, да ми помага в калаиспането. Now we're just gonna using sand from the pot here to rub off the sort of the, what are the burnt uh, parts underneath the copper to clean it up so that we can polish it after that. Can I do some? Yeah, okay, good. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay, like that. Always in one direction. I think, if I've understood it. Uh -huh. Okay. I'll try. Yeah. What's this piece for? You could be out with your friends, you could be listening to music, but you're here in the, you know, in the workshop working. Why is it important to you? I have time for learning and but I want to learn more time for learning. If you want to learn the <laughs> because I helped you a little bit with it, I would need a discount. <laughs> How much do you normally sell these for? За Като за тебе. So for seven, so seven hundred lever, which is three hundred and fifty euros. And your husband made this pot this morning or yesterday? Вчера го е направили, неска се лиска, за да може да се продава. И това трябва да внимава. Ако му скочи в учите е проблем. Може да стигне до болница. Yeah, we're not exactly wearing a lot of protective equipment here. I had noticed that. Can I help you carry it? Само чакаме да взимаме парите и готови. Ето. Wow, what a piece. I've got five sons of my own, but it's a long time since uh, any of them were this small. I'm always pleased to get an opportunity to hold a little fellow like this one. What's going on? What's that? Should we go and see the birds? Should we go and see the nest? With the swallows? La Godaria. <laughs> La Godaria. <laughs> He's a very good boy. Very good. And what kind of men uh, would you want for your daughters and your granddaughters? 
Значи им да са добри. Най-важното да се разбират и да са добри, да не са от тук, от там, от ние къде дърпат по носовете. Мале съм от тук. Да, ама си го казвам, нали, както си говориме сега. Да са работни, да са работни и да издържат се ме. What kind of age are girls getting married today and how does that compare with the past? Вече няма онова време, как беше поне 14-15 години да се женят, а сега вече на 20-25. Взимаме в семейството, например, детето, ако иска да кандидатства да учи... Повече държиме сега за ученето, отколкото от преди. В кой не виси те да се запише детето, той където. Имат професия, на днешно време... 12-ти клас средно искат за една метачка, една миячка. And I see there's ribbons here, on there, and on the gate of the house. There's ribbons. Was, did you have a marriage recently here in, in the family? What makes a really good wedding? You've still got all the things from the wedding. Beautiful. Yeah. Mango, Lagodaria. Blessed by their good wishes, I soon found a wedding of my own to attend. My real, slim, fast, fantastic gypsy wedding. With a storm brewing overhead, a big band, and enough food and drink to feed 5,000. Just say hello and congratulate you on your on getting thank married. You yeah, thank you. I'll shake hands again. Thanks. Well, are you going to fetch your bride in a moment? Of course. Yeah. We're here at the bride's house in her village. Can you tell me something about her? Is she, presumably she's inside getting dressed, is she? The bride is a little precious gem. She's 18 years old. She's mm. very beautiful, very smart. Yeah. She's the like the honor of our family. Great. And we are very happy to pay her respect. This no, is her grandfather, this is her grandfather grandmother. grandmother. Th this is my wife, I'm her uncle, and that's the cousin. We are waiting here for the husband to take her. We yes. greet the family. Uh, we play like uh, like a game. Yeah. We protect the bride oh, really? from the husband. Uh, and How he, will you protect her? We lock the door. Oh really? And he is behind us. We are keeping her. <laughs>
behind you. He's behind us, And you're yes. protecting the bride, trying to all keep... All the family, all the yeah. family. And the husband, the husband should pay her price out. Uh -huh. And only then we can let her go with him. <laughs> the price what the, the price, bride price is, is unknown is. unknown for she's now she's very beautiful i guess it's going to be she's a high priceless. price she's priceless she's priceless for us yeah. she's priceless for us but you still accept the money we can doubt about that but <laughs> the boy yeah. is a precious gemstone also of course. we have uh, much respect for the husband really? for the boy good we feel him like a part of the family yeah so so you know him well already he's a very good boy yeah great <laughs> The word to wed comes from the verb to pledge oneself. What are we committed to in the modern world, I wonder? To our friends, I hope, to our families and communities. And who is our witness? Vidin is known in Bulgaria as a city of love as well as commerce. Like Rusay, it has wide open boulevards and a promenade by the Danube for lovers to walk beside. It also boasts fine Christian, Jewish and Islamic architecture. So this is the Heart Mosque in Vidin, named after the upside down heart on the top of the minaret and on the other buildings there. Different legends, why it's called that. Uh, they all associated with Osman Pazvan Polu, the builder of the mosque. One is that he was in love with a Bulgarian Christian girl. Another, that the heart was uh, in to honor the memory of his father. Or perhaps it's the lost heart of Europe. overlooks the gate to the old city. It's good to drink a beer beside the river after a long day at a wedding. I've been struck in Bulgaria by the sheer confusion over how to handle the coronavirus pandemic. One can see a city like this almost empty some of the streets, and yet one can go to a crowded wedding. I wonder what it's going to be like tomorrow in Romania. For 
hundreds of kilometers, the Danube forms the border between Bulgaria and Romania. But north of Vidin, Serbia takes over from Bulgaria as the river enters the spectacular Iron Gates Gorge. The massive hydroelectric dams were built here between communist Yugoslavia and Romania in the late 1960s. Tapping the power of the river as it bursts through the narrow defile between the Carpathian and Balkan mountains. You've been involved with this project for a long time. I'm working here since 1989 when I finished the faculty. At that time, it was somehow proud to be an engineer in Iron Gates 1. And this was something that I wanted since high school. I learned from uh, those people at that time when I was engaged uh, that uh, this is the most important thing to work on such a project, on such a, a hydropower system. Everyone was proud of that and this feeling uh, I'm still having and I, I wanted to transfer to the next generation somehow. Someone came with a project like this today, do you think the project would get permission? It should get permission. It was very difficult to navigate in the uh, Iron Gates gorges. Because they're so narrow it and the was water... Narrow. It was uh, during the high water season, mostly, it was uh, very difficult. So uh, it was really necessary for the development of the society to have navigation in this Iron Gates uh, area. But the cost of the dam was very high for the communities living either side of and even in the middle of the Danube. A whole world disappeared beneath the waters, which rose 30 meters upstream of Iron Gates 1. Fragments of it are preserved in constant hearing of the hum of the turbines. So this is the museum of the hydro power station. And strangely, there's an exhibition here dedicated to the island of Adekale. So here we are in the belly of the beast, if you like, and there's an exhibition dedicated to an island that was destroyed by the hydropower station. Adekale, a taste of the Orient, of Turkish culture now lost beneath the waves. It was famous for its Turkish sweets, its pistachios, figs and pomegranates, for the tall cypress trees beside the minaret in the graveyard, for its Muslim saint and protector Mishkin Baba, and even for the tobacco factory. Its disappearance has left a hole in the heart of the Danube that no quantity of water can fill. Other people are sent into exile on islands. These two were sent into exile from it when Adakale was destroyed. Number 68. This is where Engor and his wife Miorara, uh, some of the last survivors from the island of Adakale live. I think they're expecting me. Am părăsit insula Dacale la vârsta de 27 de ani. Când am terminat liceul, nu m-a lăsat să stau vagabondă <laughs> și m-am angajat la fabrica de țigări la insulă. Eu am observat că a venit o fetiță frumoasă, blondă și la noi la Dacale <laughs> și n-am mai știut cum să fac. Când ați sărutat-o prima dată pe doamna și am povestit, am fost la un dans împreună și fiind îmbrățișați, am ieșit și afară, ne-am îmbrățișat și afară și imediat a, umbra, a, a urmat primul sărut. Tango ne plăcea cel mai mult și mie și lui, da. Stăteam îmbrățișați, ne mai vorbeam la ureche, mai ne sărutam. <laughs> Și așa ne-am împrietenit mai ca lumea. They and others I've met who once lived on this island still dream that they're walking on the streets and everything still is as it once was. Eu în Orșova am fost angajat la un restaurant. Cafe Giu. Și de la restaurant m-au trimis și la primărie la o recepție de... cu primul ministru al țării a fost o ședință mare 
și am servit cafea. Atunci s-a întâmplat episodul ăsta că prim-ministru era domnul Manea Mănescu, a spus că dacă nu vor ca să părăsească locuințele, dăm drumul la apă peste ei și pleacă ca șobolanii. N-au încotro. How did you feel in your heart when you overheard that conversation? Were you angry? Were you sad? Did you want to throw the coffee in their faces? What? How, how did you feel when you heard that? What am I supposed to do? I'm in such a state. That's it. I can't do anything. 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 What what was Adakali? What did it mean to you both? Pentru mine a fost parcă aș fi pierdut pe cineva drag când s-a demolat insula. Atât de mult mi-a plăcut mie acolo. A fost ceva ca în vise, dar fructele de pe insulă, fructe, flori, trandafiri de pe insulă, se făcea dulceață de trandafiri. Parfumurile alea plăcute era ceva de vis. Câteodată stăm amândoi la când bem cafeaua și ne mai aducem aminte. Dar ăla cine era, dar al cui era copilul ăla, dar ne uităm și pe poze și ne aducem aminte. Și el îmi spune, păi era alucutare, alucutare, da. Probabil că tot cu aparatul meu de fotografiat m-a pozat cineva și pe mine aici. E de la mănăstire, se vede locul unde a fost insula Dacale. Așa, frumoase. Uh -huh. okay. Safe, safe. Safe, safe. Safe, safe. Armed with flowers from his courtyard, I've agreed to take Engor out on the river to pay his respects to his former home. Those who once lived there, or even those who were lucky enough to visit the island once in their lives, keep the memory of Adakale alive. A rămas la mine, pe care l-am băut și m-am cam îmbătat. M-am dus în curtea casei, unde se dărâma, și am băut-o singur și am plâns. Putem merge să vedem Adacaleu? Da. The chill waters of the Danube cool the emotions, a good place to reflect on the winners and losers of what we call civilization on what is still wild in this world and what has been tamed.
Tourism is the big winner of the transformation of the Danube into a storage lake. My old friend Doru runs this guest house on the shore, Stawa Dunari, the star of the Danube. A constant flow of grateful guests from far and wide keeps his business afloat. Where did you get the idea to start a bed and breakfast place on the shore of the river? I guess this lake, this huge storage lake, did it create possibilities for tourism? Pentru că înainte de revoluție, noi localnici din împrejurim, veneam în weekend cu cortul, campam aici și petreceam un weekend deosebit în mijlocul naturii. Și după revoluție, când ni s-a permis să construim în zonă, am zis de ce nu, de ce să nu aducem turiști să beneficieze, să bucure de frumusețile naturii. Tot ceea ce vedeți dumneavoastră aici s-au construit după anul 1990. Decibel was the king of the Dacians, a tribe Roman historians described as their bravest opponents. A Romanian businessman paid for his image to be carved into the rock here. But the Serbs on the far bank turned down his suggestion to carve Trajan's image, glaring across at Decibel from their own side. They have more recent heroes of their own. When did you come here? Când am venit eu, în 1971, dar nu chiar aici, puțin mai jos, la 15 km, în Orșova. Mi-aduc aminte că în vara anului 1971, încă mergeam cu tata la vânătoare de păsări pe câmpia din Orșova, locul care acum este acoperit tot cu apă, deoarece în 1972, Când s-a terminat construcția barajului, nivelul Dunării a crescut cu 40 de metri și a înghițit tot ce a fost din Orșua Veche. This is the Star of Danube, my pension. This is the first pension to build in this area after the revolution. Okay. Oh, easy, 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 easy. And Dora, this is your son, Catalin. Yeah. Yes. And so it's a family business. Yes, yeah, we work in the family. Yes. My wife is in the kitchen. Right. Yes. I My son boaters. to the boat. You do I the boats. I take care of the tourists yeah. on the water. Okay. Water but. sports, boaters. <laughs> but you didn't catch this one. Uh, actually, we caught it yesterday. Okay. It's fresh fish. It's a catfish. It's a local fish. Now we're going to cook like a local recipe. Very good. Nick, you need the protection. Okay, please. I don't think I've ever worn one of these. It looks like you're <laughs> pretty serious. Mamma mia. And when it's prepared, yeah. uh, we have uh, enough time to drink a short uh, uh, kichit palinka. A palinka. Palinka. A, a brandy. Palinka. Suica de smokina. From fix. From fix. Smokina. Smokina. Mm. Yes. It's very, very good. Yeah. It's local uh, yeah. from uh, but this area. Mm. That's really good. good. Excellent. Great. Strong, not too strong. Not too strong, but 50 um, degree. You're planning to stay here. You've got no plans of going uh, anywhere else. For now, I'm traveling a lot. Really gather a lot of experience to meet other cultures and see how people act and behave in other societies. And in the end, of course, I'm going to come home and yeah. develop everything here, develop the business. This is the place where I grew up and yeah. this is the yeah. place that gave me the best yeah. memories. Part of my journey up the river, one of the big themes on the journey is I'm searching for the lost heart of Europe. What makes the kindness in people, the goodness in people. 
The first is hospitality. Yeah. Because uh, the Romanian people, it's uh, with uh, warm. Mm. Yes. With a big heart. Big yeah. heart. We like food, good mm. food. We like good wine, mm -hmm. good drink, and palinka, yeah. and tsuika. Uh -huh. Yes. And the music. Mm -hmm. I think that the thing that makes this whole uh, place special and uh, that this is very also very special for the tourists is the Danube. It just brings everybody together, like from uh, uh, Germany, from Austria, from Hungary, people who love, Serbia, who love nature and love yeah. fish and good food. It's, I think we, we share the same culture. It's like the Danube culture. Really? It's what brings us together. are always open now. The Iron Curtain, which once divided Europe, is no more. New barriers between people sometimes appear, then disappear in the mist. I imagine this river gorge as the narrow passageway from southern to central Europe. Mm -hmm.